Hello friends, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can pass the data into Scenario. Um, so basically there are going to be a series of two to three videos that is going to address how you'd be passing the data, the various form of the data that you can pass for Cucumber test so that you can master being in the Cucumber test. If I uh, continue to say all of the options into single video then this video may go for one hour and then you'll get bored and you'll sleep in the middle of the video so I'm trying to break this up into all small chunks so that you can watch as needed okay so first of all let me go to the scenario if you see this test if you see my other video uh, that talks about how and these scenarios are uh, created and what each of this line represents and also how you can configure your test from any Jane it's test to cucumber test so I'm not going to spend time on that now so if I do a quick run on this uh, it has a my test annotations there is an application that launches and as soon as it launches, it navigates to the register page and then it will fill out the registration form and then the test ends so here line 7 is where the test starts and line 8 is where it ends line 8 has lots of uh, you know features inside this if you want to go what's there um, this is the step that it has but there's a method that is going to trigger that method has a code from this whole code when it fills out all of the form okay we'll go through that later so let me go ahead and run that test so make sh so that we can make sure that test is good so to run I'll go right click here run as run configurations And then that's my good test I'll just run this So if you see now it is doing that fill in form thing this data are uh, provided through the properties file so I can show you where that properties file is but this time we're gonna work uh, differently that this data will be passed uh, from the other way okay so <coughs> I believe this test is over if you see here it says one test passed if you come here join it it has the steps that has been triggered okay basically that's all the test is is similar to JUnit, but then it has a cucumber um, plugin uh, attached to it so if you see this test again th so there nowhere it had it is passing any data so um, that's the one thing uh, so we are reading this data um, from uh, let's go here find a step and let's go inside this method if you see here where the data is being coming so the gender is also inside the properties reader um, and every time it is passing the data from the properties reader so these are the keys and then if the keys says uh, yes then it will do this otherwise it will clear so and so so even the password is there okay let me show you where the properties is so if you want to see where the properties is, so let's see where the properties is. So properties reader dot get value. That's the method I have. So that is looks like it is reading from test data files. So that is the file we have the data with the test data properties. So if you see here, all of this information is being provided here so that's where it is reading everything 
Okay, so now we're doing something different. We want to pass the data through the uh, Cucumber. And if you see this Cucumber, it is not giving you any options. First of all, we're going to talk about how we can pass the data for scenario. And then we'll talk about more ways we can pass this data. So for example, if you come into this step, find a step, I don't want to uh, pass the data for um, I don't want to pass the data for uh, <clears throat> uh, the names through the properties, but I want to pass it through uh, through what do you call uh, through cucumber feature. Okay, let me make this overloaded method. Okay, so I'll just make a duplicate and some things I'll just parameterize this. If you see this method, this method has no data passed, so I'm going to pass this uh, like a first name and last name there so first name and last name where it feels I want to pass that data okay so first name and last name when I send this I'm just passing these keys so I'm not reading that from the properties file so I'll just pass whatever cucumber is sending me I'm going to pass that over okay So let's see what it is guys running for. So there is a duplicate. Okay, so first name is passed there and the last name is passed there. So when I go back all I did is I created another another duplicate method on this with the overloaded that is looking for more parameters. So I'm reading this. If I'm not passing any parameters, then it is going to read this value. And if I'm passing the value, then it will read this value. So here I need to pass the same thing. Just like this, nothing different here and i'm going to pass that values here in this method because that's the method it is requiring the first name and last name so now what happens when i call this step it is going to trigger this method this method is going to pass two fields which means whenever i call this method that method is going to ask two parameters um, and then when I pass those two parameters, it is going to trigger fill in registration overloaded method, not this one. So this overloaded method requires two parameters, first name and last name. Now if you go there, first name and last name, it is not showing me this one. Same method name, you know this, there's a overloaded thing, right? Polymorphism, I believe you know that polymorphism still and um, so once you pass this you have to also make this step itself the parameterized okay so i fill in the registration form for make this some readable sentence so that anybody would read this test and they can find this out okay make this single quote parenthesis dot and plus so that is basically um, that is basically um, regex so when you pass this value that is the place where you are passing it okay in the feature this step you are not passing actually running data actual running data you pass inside the cucumber not in the Java step okay uh, for first name That's the first name. And once you close this, your dollar sign, those are basically ending ending braces. And then fill in the registration name for the first name as this and then last name as this. Okay, so that's where those area where you have to pass the data into Cucumber. So I'm copying the whole thing. And I go back to cucumber. Instead of this step, I want to pass this step. Okay? You have to still write end. 
now it is showing yellow because it thinks it is it does not have that data so uh, inside this place I need to replace that with the actual data so I can say this one as Hamal okay so that is my data let me close and reopen so it will be it will load that again okay now it is happy so it is sending Rajas Hamal okay so basically instead of passing this one with a hard coded data i'm passing this data inside the step itself so when you come here right click here and find a step it will go in here so first name and and what happens is this value represents the first one so if you see here it will start from all the way from left and it will look for very first thing whatever you are passing at this location that is going to be the first thing inside this method okay first thing is the first name so it will read that as a first name last name is the last name it does not matter what you write here cucumber does not know that cucumber knows that first argument you are passing here in this step name is going to be the first value it will pass second argument it will pass for the second one so if you have four arguments you're passing then it will look for all four arguments here too otherwise it will just throw the arity mismatch exception errors okay so if you see here that method is going to then pass this value so these values are coming from the the data for these values are coming from the cucumber file okay so let's do one quick run again. I just ran this test. So I'll just run this from here. <clears throat> so now you see the register is there. It is going to the register form and then now it will enter the Rajas Hamal. Okay. Look at the first name. Okay. Hamal is coming there and rest of the information it is is still going to go through that properties file because that's the only place that I ask cucumber data to be passed email is still coming from properties file so the rest of the information okay so that's all it is doing up to the password I did not do further on this test so test passed if you see here let's go to this one also if you see here this step now also reads the data you see we actually passed this data exactly that is being read in here too and uh, and fill in the registration form for first name Rajes and last name Hamal that's what I exactly write okay so that's the benefit of this so it will also help anybody who reads this test result understand what data are being passed there so it is more readable that's why I ask you to okay put these things uh, associated to this name so that it is readable anybody who reads your data so that's all about the scenario so scenario if you want to pass the data so you have, you have to pass the exact data into the step itself that's how the scenario works uh, in the scenario outline however you have more options how to handle multiple sets of the data and this is going to be more interesting for you so i wanted to break this video into two or two to three different chunks so it will help you understand each one of these items rather than dumping everything into one big video and then I'll get tired too okay um, so I should just stop here and um, do the quick recap all I did here is I created a duplicate method here overloaded method with the two parameters passed okay that's all it is so nothing else so this first part if you see this is same as here um, so if you come here <coughs> so I created two different sets of the method each of this method this method is going to look for two values here whereas this is looking for one single value you can also hard, hard code the value here too but then hard coded value is not going to give you more options so if you next time you want to call the same same step uh, outside this here then it is going to give this value obviously right so you, you can you have more options to change this data into uh, the, the feature file 
okay so scenario easier way this is the scenario name this is where your test starts first thing it will launch in the application register everything okay don't get confused with the cucumber steps so steps where it defines it called step definition step where it is written is called cucumber steps cucumber steps are gherkin language so gherkin is scripting these are called the gherkin scripting where you write given when and then clauses um cucumber requires the feature at the top level which is just kind of title in your book um, and then annotations are required because you want to execute those tests based on the annotations Cucumber runs in the annotations based um, The scenario is basically the uh, minimal description of the scenario that is being triggered Basically this scenario is going to represent what that entire scenario is expected to do So you are basically writing briefly what is that scenario going to be so that has nothing script associated to that so you can write whatever you want from line number seven eight nine these are associated to the step definitions where you actually write the java codes selenium codes uh, so that should represent this exact exact uh, name of step it is also space sensitive case sensitive so you want to make sure you don't type it in so that you don't mess up you want to copy and paste whole thing uh, without any space um, so you want to get everything only exact the wording the space between given and this first language first word that can be waived because when you come here there's a regex we are looking for which means this these two things that is going to trigger that whatever is space it will just stream it out same thing with the register any space there is it will just stream this out over here so we need to be more focused on this if there is any extra space here then it will tell okay this is not defined there okay and you'll get yellow here so don't get more amazed if you have uh, if you know for sure that uh, even after you define some step and still showing yellow Try to close this cucumber and reopen it and again if it is yellow then that means there's extra spaces or you are typing it incorrectly or it could be capital letter or lowercase letter you know and as this is a case sensitive okay and so and briefly at the end we are passing the data data can be with the single code or the double code it is it doesn't matter uh, usually you pass the uh, string value into the cucumber steps um, so that it is easier to read and interpret and if there's any number you want to pass you would still pass that as a string and you can later parse or you can convert that string into number there are ways to do those um, so I'll uh, look for next video into scenario outline where I can explain more about how we can do other different approaches of passing the different sets of the data and we will talk about the data table these are basically the data table data table table okay thank you uh, very much for watching this video uh, in this video I explained about passing the data into cucumber steps um, into scenario scenario okay Thank you very much again and please continue to watch my video and subscribe my channel.